Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, we are going to be unpacking and soldering up our GPS unit. Now, that sounds really scary, but I can assure you it's really straightforward. So, let's quickly go through the things which I've got on my desk. Number one, we've got the GPS unit, which has been in arrived. We'll get that one. Well, tell you what, let's open that one up right now so we can have a look. You do get a little sticky pad which you want to keep, especially if you're going to be mounting this temporarily on top of a model. Personally, I like to dig mine into a model, but uh, that's up to you, because remember, it's your model. So we get the GPS unit. You'll notice that there's an arrow on the top of the model, so that should be facing forwards. That's especially important for the compass, which is actually mounted on the bottom side. And what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is that see those wires just there. And again, if I can see if I can make it focus, there we go. Those wires there, those are the wrong connectors and we need to, put, need to go and put on our own connectors so we can connect it up easily to our flight controller board. Now, give you a little heads up, I am recording this on the iPad so the video quality is not going to be amazeballs uh, and the audio quality is probably not going to be as amazeballs either. So anyway, we've got the GPS unit. Uh, I have got a collection of little wires just here. I've got two servo connectors. Uh, so there, so there's the number first one. Again, I've chosen these colors on purpose. So the first one uh, is brown and yellow. And the reason why I've chosen brown and yellow uh, is because we're gonna be using those for the TX and RX uh, signals, signal wires. We've got a black and a red one uh, for power. So it's blatantly obvious. And again, if you imagine that you've got these cables in your hand, well, you know the black and red one are gonna be for power. Uh, and these two have got to be something else. So they're going to be our TX and RX for the GPS unit. Also, while we're at it, I've got a blue and a green one. And by the way, color coding is completely unimportant except for the power, which is red and black. And you definitely do want to keep to red and black for that, because if you put these in the wrong way round, you're going to get magic pixie smoke. If you put any of these in the wrong way round uh, on the other wires, then you won't get magic pixie smoke, it just won't work. Okay, so any color is fine for these. Uh, I've just gone with uh, brown and yellow and then blue and green. And there's some just some dew point connectors which I've just chopped up. So maybe if you have mucked around with an Arduino before, you've probably got some of these cables kicking around. Those would work fine. Also on the desk, I've got some little bits of sh uh, heat shrink uh, waiting to be used. I've got a big piece of heat shrink as well, which will end up going over the solder connections down here to make it look nice and neat at the end. I've got some solder. I've got a soldering iron down here, which is heating up. I've got a little um, soldering thing to clean up the end of the solder, uh, the soldering iron. Oh, and I do have a heat gun here as well, but obviously you can just use a torch uh, or a match or a lighter or whatever else uh, just to shrink your heat tube. Uh, oh, and of course, we also have a cup of the black stuff, and I'm going to take a quick sip. Mmm, that's rather hot. Now, this first part may look a bit drastic, but what we're going to go and do is those connectors on the ends, they're the wrong ones. So I'm just going to pop those on the desk, and then, he says, with a knife, or I should probably be using a pair of nippers, chop those off. So I've been and chopped the plugs off. Now, you can keep those if you want to. Uh, I don't want to, so I'm going to get rid of mine. Next thing is, we need to uh, open up the wires on the end of here. Now, I do have, to hand, a little pair of wire strippers. Uh, you can stick these between your teeth or carefully use a knife. Uh, and these aren't set down low enough, so they're going to be a little bit of a struggle. Now, if I took you through the wiring, there are six wires which comes with the GPS unit. So, the two obvious wires are black and red. So the black is grain and red is positive. Really straightforward so far? I hope so. Right, so just getting these trimmed off. Then the white and the yellow wires, they are RX and TX, uh, and that's what communicates the signal from the GPS unit to your flight control board. So uh, it, it can tell the flight controller where it is, well, what the GPS signal is. Now the other two wires which we've got on here, which are the blue and the green wires. So there's a little close up of the wires, hopefully. There we go, the blue and the green wires. Uh, those are SDA and SCL, uh, which are for the magnometer, which we won't be connecting because for a fixed wing model, 
uh, you don't really need a compass on there. So, and maybe that's something which we'll cover up at a later date. Anyway, so the first thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to go and identify the black and the red cables. Now I have a little lead here, and again, I've done this on purpose uh, because this plug here with the black positive and negative, that will go into one set of pins, whereas the TX and RX uh, will also go into a different set of pins. So I've put them together on purpose. So don't try and put them all on one plug. Uh, you need them on two separate plugs because the two sets of pins on the flight controller board are separate. So let's go and do uh, red uh, and black first. So I'm just gonna push down the hinge shrink tube on those, which is always the thing which I forget. I don't know if you're anything like me. I always manage to do that. Oh, and also, before you go any further, remember that extra big fat piece of uh, heat shrink. Put that onto the, the wire like so and pull that out of the way. Now, because if you're anything like me, you probably forget to do that uh, and then it's a toad to put on later. So let's go and get these soldered up. And I'll tell you what I'll do, I'm just gonna solder one up and I'll show you that I'm just being soldered. Uh, and then we'll I'll go on and do the rest of them. Uh, and then I'll just show you the final loom before I go and put the uh, heat shrink on the uh, final completed GPS unit. So all I've done is just twist the wires together, get the soldering iron out, clean up the nib. It's gonna get in there. And the trick to soldering is to be quick. There we go, done. So that's the first one done. So I am gonna go and solder the red wire. Let me zoom that in there, so focus on there. I'm now gonna go and wire the red wire to the red wire, the black wire to the black wire. Then with the other cable, which I think is just a second end of, no, it's still on my desk. I'm then gonna wire up the brown wire to the white wire. No. Yeah, it'll be to the white wire and then the yellow one to the yellow wire. Anyway, give me a couple of moments. I'll be back to you by the magic of video editing with this one wired up. And I'll put a photo on your screen so you can see what I've been and done with mine. And I'll see you in a few moments time. So there you go, I've been and finished. Now I am using the iPad so it's gonna be a little bit wonky. Now, quickly run, running through the wires, really straightforward. So let's start with positive and negative. You'll see that we have the red wire going to the little red wire. Let me move that in there. So we have a red wire going to a red wire, and then we have a black wire going to a black wire. Uh, so that's our positive and negative. And then we've got the green and the blue wire going off onto some dew point connectors. Now those are SDA and SCL. Uh, those are for the magnometer, which we won't be covering in to very, very late on in the series. Uh, but we at least we've been and wired those up now. And then the other two, which are the most important ones besides power, is the white lead and the yellow lead, which is RX and TX. Uh, and that's the two signal wires which come down here to uh, just a little servo connector just there. Uh, and they that's the two wires which carry the signal from the GPS unit, wherever it is just there, so there's the GPS unit, it goes up that way round, uh, and that's the two wires which takes the GPS signal from here, transmits it all the way down there, through the wire, out the, to these wires, and then we'll go into the RX and TX wires, uh, or pin headers, on our flight controller board. So there you go, that was what, took the whole of five minutes uh, to set up, really straightforward to do, uh, honestly, it's just solder up a couple of wires and I do class this as the hardest part because it is a little bit fiddly. All we need to do in the next part of this series is poke these little connectors into the right pin headers and jobs a good one. So for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode. I will see you in the next part of this series on setting up iNav. Uh, and it really is this straightforward. So what have you done? This is like the complicated bit really, is soldering up a couple of connectors. And you'll now see why, earlier I said about putting the shrink tube uh, on the cable, is that what I'm now going to do is push that all the way down and then cover up my little mess down there uh, so it all looks nice and neat and tidy. So for myself, Matt, cheerios.